Ani, Amanda Pelche Dijnikaz, Wikomkong Dongjiba. Hi there, my name is Amanda Pelche and I'm from Wikomkong Unceded Indian Reserve. Today I'm going to tell you why being an Aboriginal STEM instructor for Akshua is an amazing life changing experience and how to be awesome at it. But first, a little bit more about myself and how I found out about Akshua. In May of 2013, I had just completed my first year of Energy Systems Engineering at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology in Oshawa, Ontario. It had been my first time living in a large city and I continue to enjoy it even though I'm very far from my home community on Manitoulin Island. During that month of May, I was ecstatic to find out that I was chosen as a GE Scholar Leader Award recipient. One part of the scholarship program was to attend a week-long leadership seminar in August. During a presentation, they told us about a char charitable organization named Actua that provides opportunities to youth all across Canada by exposing them to STEM fields and careers in a way that's inspiring and memorable. I was really intrigued by this because I remember attending a science camp when I was young and it was something that I had wanted to do for my home community. So I made note of the organization's name and kept it for future reference. Months had passed and in the early spring a job opportunity was brought to my attention by the staff at the Aboriginal Resource Centre at my school. And the rest is history. I then applied for the job, did the interview via Skype, got hired and went to training in Ottawa. It all went by so fast. After returning from my whirlwind of a summer, I had a lot of friends and potential instructors ask me questions about the job. One question was, what did you do in general? Simply put, we inspired the youth and allowed them to be more confident in their abilities. The main way we did this was by connecting the skills and knowledge they already had to STEM ideas, fields and careers. The variety of activities, the way we addressed the youth as scientists and engineers, and all of the elders, mentors, and role models that visited us. It all fit together in a way that allowed us to strengthen the connections between themselves and science. Another question was, how was the travel? The travel was fulfilling all on its own. Going to a different community each week kept homesickness at bay, and having taken that many flights over the summer was an amazing experience for me because I love traveling by plane. The first time that you step, that you take a step on the ground in a Iqaluit, take a selfie. It sounds cliche, but I did it and I treasure that picture so much, especially because my smile went from ear to ear. Some also wanted to know what we did in our spare time. Every bit of our spare time was used up. When not prepping or cleaning for camp or filling out forms, my pod and I were exploring the community together. We were a very adventurous pod and we got along extremely well, so we were always out and about doing things. If the weather was bad or if one of us was sick, then we would sit around and watch TVs, watch TV episodes, drink tea, and even practice solving the Rubik's Cube. But also spending time alone was something we did too. Time to reflect and realize where you really are, where you've been, and where you're going. All of it was time well spent and I cherish every moment of the experience. I also have a few bits of advice. Don't second guess yourself or your experiences for a second. Your knowledge is more beneficial than you think. Where you are from, the obstacles you've overcome, and every challenge you've had in your life. The people you work with may not have had those experiences, so don't ever think that your information isn't valid, because it is. It will always be helpful to give your input. Communicate with your pod. Good days and bad days are bound to happen. As long as they know where you are coming from, things will work out just fine. Oh, and make sure you tell them if you're feeling sick because you want a good, healthy pod that can work together. Remain adaptable. This is probably the most important advice I can give. Being able to go with the flow was an attribute that I relied on almost daily. No matter what, every problem has a solution. And don't fret if you need to change things up from week to week or if your pod has to come to a crucial decision. Make sure, just make sure you run it, pass the support back home. The community coordinator, the camp coordinators, and the rest of the team are the best at what they do, and they can help you at any time you need them. 
And just remember that every day is going to be different. Every camp is different, every community is different, and every kid is different. So you'll definitely have to rely on your adaptability. On that note, remember to have fun with the kids. I was completely shy and not confident when speaking in front of the youth at first. And it's actually the one regret that I have. I wish I loosened up earlier in the camp tour. I missed out on some fun, silly, and memorable times, but I made up for it throughout the rest of the summer. I hope that you find the experience to be a life-changing event. I know I certainly did. Take care, and I hope to see you in the field. Bye,